What's up, contenders and champions? Hope that you are well and welcome to the stream. Trying this out on Twitch uh, should be fairly private because nobody really knows about the Twitch channel. So, um, hope that you're looking forward to this. I <laughs> was I never t never stream on Twitch, but this is really, really, really funny. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but this hype train thing started and like loads of people are just going, I really don't even know what the hype train is, but loads of people were subscribing and doing, I don't even, yeah, I've ne honestly, I've never, ever, ever looked into this. I don't watch Twitch or do anything, but that's really, really funny because loads of people were getting like hyped in the chat and doing all these Amazon Prime things. I don't know. That's really funny. But <laughs> hey, <laughs> you you got the hype trade and you got me hyped even for this. Uh, that's what happens when people get excited for the content. Hey, I'm very excited for it as well. And why not be, hey? I saw that we're starting to get this breakout on the Bitcoin chart. And I thought, what better what better time to go live than now? We can look through this together. We can go through and, uh, you know, really just look into the charts everything in in real time uh it's pretty nice no so yeah that's what we'll do tonight um hopefully we get a really uh bigger break <clears throat> so obviously coming back up to this weekly this is obviously such a massively important level you know this is this is all-time highs like this is the all-time high on bitcoin right here so <laughs> like right here is the all-time highs on bitcoin we are literally in terms of percentage less than two and a half percent away from another potentially all time another potential all time high uh what do you have above you well clearly you we still do have we can't forget about it we still do have this weekly above us so this is obviously weekly resistance we obviously have the previous day value area high up there and you know a lot of people were like where was the point of control you know the point of control that we had up here was in this section um oh this is obviously the wrong set you know how stupid i am i needed to zoom out <laughs> look at this one this is where i was getting that point of control i was looking at the point of control from last night this is where i was saying about that point of control you see how that last range so when we're looking at this section here the point of control was literally right on the money right on the money right on the weekly and that's how yesterday you were all very impressed i know it i know you were all very impressed with that short <laughs> because we got the short right off the weekly and then obviously made its way down uh you all saw this from the from the free video that i made this morning um or you were just watching in the group as well uh we obviously bounced off of the cc that was the low of the day um so what happened over the last 24 hours rejected weekly um <clears throat> yeah we actually had some we had some trades in around here as you all know we had this really really nice short into the long in the end we all know this fizzled out fizzled out fizzled out come all the way down to the cc really nice bounce off the cc ladies and gentlemen just like we had that really 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 nice long yesterday you had the really 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 nice long once again today um yeah uh you know you hopefully you watched mike's video last night because you don't have just done this again didn't you you come down to those mini lows uh swing failure pattern the mini low and um you know you got your bounce underway here uh where are we coming back up to well it looks like we're going to come back up to this weekly now it looks like <laughs> it looks like that's where we're heading uh volume coming in steady uh open interest increasing yeah i i, I would say it's likely we're going to test this weekly again uh to be honest with you that's what I would imagine. So, hey, there you go. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll wait and see. <laughs> Let's see what people are saying in here. <laughs> we reached we reached hype train level four. No idea what this means, but we reached hype level four. Um, <laughs> we love you, Daniel. I love you all too. I really, really do. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll go through this today. So let's see if we break above this weekly. Uh, this is the only this is the only place that I would look for another so basically look for anything else. I'd have to see us retest this weekly, so we'll place an alert on this, and get our alerts placed, and I reckon hopefully we'll get this alert come off in a few minutes. Literally, we're zero point three percent away, so we should get this right now. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Coming up into the weekly, open interest still increasing, seventeen million into the highs. See if we break it. Hey, let's see if we break it. We're right, right, right on it. 27 mil coming in right now. Ball, ball's going for this all-time high. Obviously, this does look pretty bullish. We have to think the open interest is really, really, really bullish here. Uh, 40 million breaking above the weekly now. So we're breaking above the weekly. I would say open interest looks good. Volume looks good. Yeah, what it looks really, really, it looks decent, to be honest. Um, 
I am not in any shorts, by the way. So I've, I've, I'm out of my short positions. But I do think this looks pretty decent. Obviously, we're going to have to see if we can close back above this weekly. But if we do, then yeah, I got to I got to think if we close above this level, then well, I think it's very likely we come for the all time high. We're closing down on it as we speak. Literally, we're now one one point eight percent away from the all time high. Uh, volume obviously looks brilliant. Let me move this away, oh, man. You know what? I watched back one of my look at this volume. This is crazy. 60, 53 million coming in here in the last five minutes as we're breaking through this. This is with increases of open interest. Uh, really nice volume. Yeah, obviously, yeah, that, that looks pretty decent. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I mean. Well, this is the thing. Like, I don't trade breakouts, so I'm not a breakout trader, so I wouldn't long up here. And if it breaks, you know, if it goes up, I'm, you know, this is the thing. I actually thought about doing a new video on breakout trading because loads of people are like really obsessed with breakout trading at the moment. And so I was actually thinking of doing my version of breakout trading, like how I trade breakouts. Um, I know. I, I was going to say, I watched back one of my videos the other day and, oh man, I couldn't even watch my own videos. Uh, I didn't realize how annoying it is that you can actually hear me, like, hear the saliva in my mouth. I know people commented on it, and I thought, oh, man, they're crying about nothing. I watched back one of my own videos, and I was like, wow, that's actually really bad. <laughs> I was like, wow, I, I literally feel sorry for people watching these videos because I could not put up with that noise in the mouth. That's, that was ultra annoying. So now I've actually realized what people are on about. I will remember to move that away from my mouth um because <laughs> I understand how annoying that noise is. Uh, 55 million coming in here anyway. 55 million coming in, massive open, incre massive open interest increasing, over 3 billion open interest on Bybit, wow, Bybit open interest, over 3 billion, can you remember, not even that long ago, when we used to struggle to hold above 1 billion open interest, now we're hitting 3 billion open interest, wow, I mean, again, I, I don't long, I'm not going to long here, Um, you know, this is the thing that I like to trade, I think, you know, obviously people long the breakouts and whatever, but don't you think it's a lot more easier to just, you know, <laughs> you know, I literally posted this in the group, yeah, uh, CCD, this is how I find my page, just type in CCD, no, here we are, you know, what, well, this was like three hours ago now, three hours ago, you had the long entry, like, you just have to have a little bit of, you know, you have to have a little bit of confidence, I suppose, you have to have that bit of gumption about you to long these, long these pullbacks, and you had the opportunity earlier, literally, this was posted after what we were we were zero point four percent above. You know we had a zero point four percent bounce. There was plenty of opportunity to buy in this. You even retested this. Look, this was on the five minute chart. You actually retested it. You know ten minutes later, so you definitely would have had the opportunity to buy lower down. And I'm always under the perspective of, hey, if this wants to break out now, hey, brilliant because I'm in a long from lower. Like I just don't like to buy the breakouts. Period. Like obviously this looks really really good though. So seventy two million volume coming in here. We're above the weekly. We're above the point of control. Really nice increase in open interest. Really nice increase in volume. You know, there's not not, not much we can do, yeah? Uh, what I will do for you is I'll log into a stream account and we will trade this together. How about that? I'll just, I just need to log into an account that I don't really care about so much. One second. Bear me a minute and we will do this together. So, uh, what should I do this on? Um, we'll do it on uh, this one then. What I'm going to do here is I personally am going to take profit on my, on my on my scalp account from my main account that's long because I just want to take profits because I'm not actually going to be managing this anymore. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. But this obviously does look really good. But hey, profits profit at the end of the day. So, yeah, this obviously all stem from our support. I mean, it is crazy. 3.4%. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to take profits here. So bear with me a minute and then I'll log into a stream account for you all.
Right, there we go. So, uh, right, that's done. I'm now well, going to go to my stream account. So, <laughs> um, hey, there you go. Sometimes you just got to take profits because I'm not bother I'm not really that bothered if we go all-time high or not now. Like, at the end of the day, I'm here to make money, not the absolute um absolute maximum 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 all the time anyway so anyway that's done so i'll log into a stream account now and we'll just do this together hey uh what should we do with this on uh we'll use this account why not Hey, there we go. So there we go, then, ladies and gentlemen. We have got a stream account here. So, uh, hey, let's let's uh, take some trades, though. <laughs> let's take some trades. Um, so what are we looking at here? We are above the weekly. Above the weekly. Should we just go instantly for a back test of the weekly? I'm not sure. It's going to be about another zero point two nine percent. Hey, I'm going to long the back test if we get a back test of the weekly because, like. I'm just feeling it, you know, I'm just feeling it. And I also am just feeling like, ah, who cares about this account? <laughs> um, do not do not follow this as a, a investment advice. No investment advice, financial advice in this video. But I'm going to go for the back test here. Uh, let's just go, hey. I'm just going to trade with small amounts of money. So we're just going to do this. Here we go. We're in. We are in off the back test of the weekly. Uh, let's go. Let's go, team balls. Look at this. So perfect. As it stands, maybe I get maybe I get wrecked, but I'm look I'm liking this. Why we saw that really nice increase in volume? Um, hey, we're above the weekly. I know where I'm wrong on this trade. If we come back down below it, and hey, we're already in fifteen dollars profit. Let's go. <laughs> um, yeah, pretty simple, pretty simple stuff. Um, I have to see how this goes. Sometimes. You just need to see now. We'd like to obviously see this volume increase again, to be honest with you. Sell-off was decreasing open interest. You're getting the open interest to come back in. Um, hey, I'll stick on another 10 grand on this. Let's go. I just kind of like it. I, like, I kind of like the look of this. Obviously, we're we're only trading with ten grand, so literally nothing's going to happen. We just have to we have to be the the small fish. On, we're going to be the small fish for the day and just see what it's like to watch and be helpless to the market's peril of what's going to happen next. Um, hey, let's let's just wait and see what the market wants to do now. We've we've placed our bets, and now we wait for the market to uh, come below the weekly or, or come back up or push back up again. Hey. Eh? Simple as that, really is. Um, oh wow, look at this! You, we received the hype train level four emoji. Look at this, the choo choo. Look at this. What is this? Show off your support in the hooray! The channel. We earned a new hype train emoji, and we have just earned this special level four, um, level four hype bard thing. Wow. We, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have just earned a really special emoji here. Chart champions with the hype bards special thing. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's go. Uh, here we are, seventy dollars made. Uh, we're back above the high. Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna scale out here. I'll take five grand profit. And this is what I like to do. We'll then just go try and get out of this. There we go. Five grand profit taken. Um, take profit one hit. Hey, I'll put stop loss at break even because I don't need really to lose anything on this trade anymore. Actually, I don't want it break even, but I'll just put it back below the weekly. Five seven four fifty. Five seven four. Let's just go. Hey, there we go. No. Um, pretty simple stuff. Obviously, if I was trading with proper money, then I might be a bit more, uh, might <clears throat> might try and scale out a bit different. But hey, I'm okay now. 
Really simple stuff though. You see this? We we moved up, really nice volume, really big open interest. We literally back tested the weekly to the absolute dollar. I mean, come on, why would I not take that trade? Decreases in open interest instantly as soon as I saw the wick. You saw me. I, I entered 10 grand here, saw the back test, entered another 10 grand, saw that we take the high, scale out um 25 percent of the trades uh put my stop loss into the trades and uh you know this is the thing hey we make uh five dollars or maybe it comes out but it's like i don't know i'm not really trading it for the money obviously i'm trading this so you can see what i'm looking at and stuff like this you know uh, nothing more, nothing less. <laughs> nothing more and nothing less. Uh, but there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty nice stuff. You see the levels respected to the absolute dollar, though. Like, literally respected to the absolute dollar. Very, 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 very accurate. It literally was a total back test of the weekly to the dollar. Um, stock market. Stock market um, going sideways. Gold going sideways. Silver going sideways. My baby Airbnb absolutely on a tear today. I am long on Airbnb. I come back into Airbnb. Uh, so I'm very content with how this one's going. Tesla is also up today and NVIDIA is also up. So like my three baby stocks right now, all on absolute tears. Yeah, today is a very, very, very good day. <laughs> a very good day indeed. Um, hey, awesome trades on the stock market. This, this long here on Bitcoin, that was the absolute gold mine that we're all going to be talking about for another 24 hours. <laughs> hey, today's a good day, no? Today is a good day. A good day to be alive. A good day to be a champion. A um, good day to be watching this stream. Yo. Nearly 1% bounce. You know, this doesn't look like much, but this is nearly 1% bounce to the upside. Like, that, that is pretty cool. Um, come on, let's go, let's go again. Anyway, yeah, we got this. We got this awesome uh, hype level four. Don't know what all of this stuff really means, but hey, um, there we go. Uh, I don't trade the alts, so I cannot honestly say. But you are first. You are the first, the first warm up subscriber. No, I don't trade altcoins, and I'm I'm honestly not actually that interested in looking at alts. Period. I'm just gonna like. Like my baby is Bitcoin. I love Bitcoin. I'm just gonna just gonna trade Bitcoin, you know. <laughs> um, yeah. Now now is the waiting game. I don't want to don't want to buy again. Don't want to take any more profits here. <laughs> I'll either wait for it to push up or I'll wait for it to stop me out under the weekly. Uh, I don't need to. I don't need to do anything else now. Just just kind of. This is the thing. Once you got into your position, especially when you're trading with this much money, you are literally at the peril of the market so we have no influence now we have absolutely no influence of what's happening next you know i cannot decide anymore whether this is going to push up or whether this is going to go down because we're trading on a small fish account today <laughs> so we cannot have any influence whatsoever here so we are literally just having to wait now and this this is what it feels like to be a newer trader you just have to now wait to get stopped out <laughs> or for it to push up that's all we can do uh, you know there's nothing else that we can do uh, obviously, the technicals were really nice. I truly do feel um, move up on nice volume, back test weekly. Um, you know, that, that, that's why I done the trades. And uh, now, now we just have to wait. We really do just have to wait. Uh, there, there, there we go. No? Ethereum heading down. This is why I hate altcoins. Look at this, man. Dude, like, the altcoins are awful. Every altcoin under the sun just literally heading absolute to the to the uh, to the abyss. <laughs> Altcoins down so heavy. Bitcoin, Bitcoin's the only one that holds up. Literally, it's the only whole, it's the only coin that holds up. So yeah, we just have to wait now patiently. I suppose if we lose this weekly, I would have thought that we come back into. Da -da 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 -da. Maybe we'll retest the value area high around 57,100. So this is my current thought process. Obviously, I'm in a small long and I'd like it to head up a little bit higher here. Uh, where I'm, Well, I'm happy to just get out if we lose this weekly because I would have thought that we come down to at least test the value area high here. So the thing is, I don't want to be holding a trade from here all the way down to here. I would prefer to get stopped out here and look to re-enter here. And if it does this, then hey... 
it, it does that and I can look to tr take another trade. It's not the end of the world in my opinion. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm looking for next here. And that's just a waiting game. It really is. Um, any tips for growing accounts? Um, yeah, don't don't trade like me. <laughs> don't trade like I do on this stream. Like I'm, I'm just going to be taking trades. Like I don't really care. I wouldn't always take these type of trades if I'm totally honest with you. But it's like, hey, um, you you're here to learn, and I can accelerate your learning, I suppose, by taking some of these uh, trades that I necessarily wouldn't trade if I'm trading with a full account. But for educational reasons, it's pretty fun, I think, and also it's pretty educational. So, um, how would I recommend growing an account? Really, these slow and steady gains. So the best way to grow the account is not, I think it's like the slow and steady ways of growing an account. So it's like you want to go into the market and you want to approach it, you know, so just what I call like that really, really, really high probability trades. So would we call this one minute back test of the weekly like a massive high probability trade? Of course it's not. You know, of course this isn't a really high probability long. This is a, this is a little bit of a... Hey, there's a technical reason there, but it's not what I would class like a golden trade that you're not waiting all week for that trade, are you? There's no way that we're going to be saying we're waiting all week for this one minute back test of the weekly. You know, you are obviously having the potential of some really, really nice high, you know, these these trades that you can say, oh, these, this is almost like a golden ticket trade, uh, really, really nice sort of trades. Uh, you obviously come down when you formed all those bullish CVDs down here. And even over the last 24 hours, I feel you had a few golden ticket trades. Not really this one here, but really that back test off of the um, the amount of bullish, you know, you were forming crazy bullish CVD divergences. Um, when you come for that back test, I mean, look, you, you form so much bullish CVD down here. That was, I honestly do feel that this was, this was a golden ticket trade. Like, obviously, I can say that now very easily because it went up. But the thing is, I longed to that, longed to that uh, move down this today. Posted it in the group exactly as it was happening. Um, that 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 was a really high probability trade. Why you had you had massive bullish divergences. Um, you're coming down to your fib support. Obviously, you come down to your high volume support. Uh, you have your high volume node support. Like that, that 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 that's a trade where you have the you have the swing failure pattern. Yeah, you you also done the swing failure pattern. She's so talking about like five different confluences here of why this is a really good trade. And what, what do you have up here? What you know, two things maybe the looking at the volume and looking at the weekly. So like when you when you're thinking like a, a tip of how to grow trades, it's like taking these sort of trades. This is this this I mean you could not financial advice, but you could like times a hundred long this because the invalidation is back below that wick. So um you know you can get very high leverage trades up in here. And it's not gonna like you know, this this is what I would say. These are the sort of trades that you want to grow an account. Okay. Um so yeah, that, that's my tip of, of, of taking the best trades and not necessarily getting involved in things like this. To be totally honest with you, like that, that would be my tip. Like, make this very clear. Number one tip of growing an account, don't get involved in... I suppose just wait for the highest probability trades. And how do you recognise a high probability trade? Uh, looking at the context of where the market's going. And once you've understood the context of where the market's likely heading towards... Um, looking at taking the trades in that direction, which have, you know, three plus levels of confluence. So that's what we could say is how you grow an account. So you take those trades where you have three plus levels of confluence together. Yeah, I, I, th I think that, that that's the tip, period. <laughs> um, you know, this, this here, I don't know. Maybe I get stopped out of this trade. Who knows? You know, this is the thing. I just have to wait now. I, I'm not going to be able to tell you whether we're going to push up higher or come down lower. Like, I cannot tell you this because all we have to do right now is wait. Like, this is the only thing we can do right now. It's going to do one thing. It's going to go up or go down. And we just literally have to wait. You know? It's not not, not that um, not that difficult, I don't think. <laughs> um Obviously, I'm looking here and there's no reasons for me. Sometimes I'll close out a trade early, but I don't actually want to close out this early because, look, this is still coming down on a decrease of open interest. Obviously, it can take out that low, but I don't know. I have no reason to manually close this myself. It's not like this is a red flag for me. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to wait now. Um, so, yeah, that's Bitcoin. Uh, we'll take 
a look really quickly because I, I am still in Airbnb now. I longed it this morning. Well, this morning, this afternoon. Um, oh, I didn't realize this. Um, okay, so this is the thing sometimes on the stocks. And I need to manage this because I actually have serious money on Airbnb. So it looks actually like we have this gap and we're trying to find resistance back on this gap. So you see how this actually works often where you have a gap on a chart like this. So you have this like gap that's formed. And then when you retest the gap, you can see this happens all the time. So it's really good knowledge to be aware of. Like this gap is acting now as resistance. And the way that you trade this is this is obviously resistance. OK, I didn't even actually realize it. this is what happens when I become start to try and do loads of things at the same time. I need to actually I want to take some profits on this. And the thing is, I'm not actually bothered if it continues up way higher. I just prefer to actually lock in profits. Um, yeah, like literally. And this is this is a day trade that I took today, so it's really bad if I don't. It's like I was saying earlier, and I even wrote about this in here as well. I was like, come on, you just have whenever you get like an amazing you know, this is why I'm a perma bull on the stock market. Every time the same, every dip is for buying. Like, <laughs> I am such a stock market bull, literally. Every time you get a dip on Airbnb, Nvidia, Tesla, like this is like screaming buy. Screaming buy. Uh, anyway, I want to take profits on this. Uh, and then we'll get back to Bitcoin. But this is, for me anyway, a little bit more important. Uh, so bear with me two minutes. I'm trading this on interactive brokers, by the way, for anybody interested. The best day trading stock website in the world. Um, bear with me two minutes. Uh, let me just see this. The thing is, there's not much volume on this, so I don't really want to just mark it out like I did on Bitcoin. So I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to try and get out of a limit order. So. Hey, let's see if I can get out of this. So, so I've, I'm closing out 50% of this trade. So um, anyway, I'll go back to explaining this theory. Let's just really quickly check Bitcoin. Yeah, it's not really doing anything. So yeah, we have time to talk about this again. So um, let's go back to this. I've got a limit order that's trying to get me out at 50%. So we'll have to wait and see. But basically, the theory on this is when you when you form these gaps, these gaps will act as resistance. So you can like literally see this here. The, 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 top, the, the bottom of the gap is acting as resistance. If we get acceptance into this gap, obviously, this is quite a small gap. Well, I say small, it's still still 3%, which when you're trading with millions and it's 3% is a lot. So if you get acceptance into this gap, then you're going to look to fill that gap fairly easily. You would expect that to come up to... Um, 205.50 you know 205.50 at least so basically if you come back into this gap and acceptance you look to trade up to the top of the gap fairly fairly easy that's the gap filled from here hey you can either continue to move up or you fill the gap and you you know you get a bit of a pullback but if we get acceptance into this gap then it's very likely that we move up another three percent i would have thought you know fairly certain you can see here you test the gap you instantly come down off the gap so you instantly come down off the gap I can't feel this limit order and it's really annoying. Um, I really need to get filled on this trade. <laughs> Otherwise, I can't concentrate. I really wish that I closed out earlier. Um, oh, come on. <laughs> if someone wants to help me concentrate and just mark it by, <laughs> mark it by some Airbnb into my sell order, that would be very nice of you. 
Um, <laughs> obviously, I'm joking. You don't. You don't have to do that. I'm totally joking. Um, just because I don't. I don't want to get sued. Don't do this. I'm totally joking. Um, but yeah, I do want to try and get out of this position or fifty percent of it anyway. Um, anyway, that's that's the theory on the gaps. Um, Tesla's still doing nothing. Nvidia. Yep, I like Nvidia. I don't want to close it. So yeah, that's how my day's gone anyway. I'm long. I'm long on Nvidia, which I'm going to let run for the rest of the day. I'm not going to close this. I don't have any reason to close it. Long on Tesla. Don't have any reason to close it. Long on Airbnb, but I actually want to take profits 50%. And um, Bitcoin, yeah. Obviously, my main account is long. Took 50% profits. And now I'm going to see what happens up here. Um, this is just for this this account that we're trading here. I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to do anything else on this one. But... Um, Yeah, let's see. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, we can have a bit of calmness now. <laughs> what, a, what, a, what a lovely start to the stream, no? What a lovely start to the stream. I mean, you look at this even today, though. Like, this is the thing, you know, we come down to the CC. You want to see something really, really funny? <laughs> this this, is, this might make you laugh. Um, what did I say? Did this, uh, what was it, this one this morning? Let's pump it and help our friend. So this, this this guy, he made a mistake. He made a mistake at longing. He tried to long the CC. And instead of pressing long once, he pressed long like five times. I was like, hey, guys, come on. <laughs> Let's pump it up and help our friend out. He's down some money because he made a mistake longing the CC like 10 times he pressed market by 10 times instead of one time so i was like hey let's let's help out our friend and pump it i was at 10 30 this morning while we were at the cc we helped him out and you actually pumped it way more way harder than what i thought because from that cc hey we made it all the way back up to the weekly but that was obviously pretty funny hey i love the champions group what can i say if we need to help her we need to help another champ out hey we we got we got to do our part we got to do our part and help pump the market that was obviously off of the cc though but anyway pretty standard stuff again it's all technicals just trading the technicals low to high you saw that short that i had on the cc last night yeah you saw that one sorry not at the cc out of the weekly you see that short last night how amazing was that like literally that short last night was basically to the absolute absolute dollar high and uh, yeah we take that all the way down in the end to the cc we go into pump mode hey we pump it we come back down and then hey what did we have today you were given an absolute gold mine setup once again as we come back into our support hey we come back up above the weekly we test the weekly to the absolute dollar we make our way up and hey now we're just going a bit sideways a bit boring but hey we've, we've actually been able to pretty much call the over the past 24 hours the exact high of the market almost the low uh this i didn't trade didn't wasn't involved in this uh but i managed to then long the exact low here so i managed to short the exact high on the lower term time frames yesterday long the exact low of the move like this was crazy to the absolute dollar yeah shorted the exact high to the absolute dollar longed the exact low to the absolute dollar and you see this 57,471 to 55,648. That was to the exact high, to the exact low, back into, from a short into the long, back into the short, managed to take that down overnight to the CC, going into the long of the CC, wasn't involved in this, took it back down, <laughs> took it back down to the low, of course, was back involved in this one, and hey, now we are where we are here. Like, we've been, we've been pretty much doing very well, let's just say that. And now it's just a waiting game. We are just now waiting for the next move here on the Bitcoin chart. Uh, and I've got nothing else really to say. Oh, yes. I have got the limit order filled on <laughs> Airbnb. Hey, this is good. This is good. The gods were listening. I've filled 50% of my take profit order on Airbnb. I can now sit calm, no? Sit calm. That's, that's good. I'm happy about it. Um, let me just do this one second then. So, uh, Cool. We have a lot of questions here. Um, uh, wow. I'm sorry. I didn't realize how many questions that we had coming in here. It's crazy. Um Someone said, is this times 100 leverage? No, <laughs> no. Um, 
what is the difference between Etoro and Interactive Brokers? Really, really good question. Etoro is good for swing traders. If you're a swing trader, Etoro, in my opinion, is actually really, really good because there's no commission. The fees are really low. Uh, if you're buying the underlying asset, there's no uh, overnight fees. Yeah, I think Atoro is really, really, really good uh, stock broker if you want to trade swings, swing trading. If you want to day trade, yeah, I wouldn't use Atoro. I wouldn't recommend Atoro. <laughs> uh, if you want to day trade, I'd say interactive brokers. If you want to swing trade, you want to use Atoro. Yeah, I, or not, no financial advice, of course. You need to do your own research, but that, that's what I would say. Um, oh, another guy asking here about the... Um, Am I going to trade the new futures on Bybit or am I sticking to the perpetuals? Yeah, I'm going to stick to the perpetual swap. Obviously, it's pretty cool that you have the option of... This is obviously referring to the new thing that was released today. Um, today, Bybit released their... The, the, the new um, timed futures contract. Obviously customer service here is very a little bit about it the, so what are the advantages of using the futures contracts where it's the expiration i think of this one is the 25th of june which is standard um so you got the futures contract well why would you trade the futures uh with the expiration date rather than trading uh the perpetual swap uh one i guess your primary reason why you might want to trade this is for hedging um, that's the main reason I think that you would use this. I, I personally don't, I'm not going to be, if I'm totally honest, I'm not going to actually use this. Uh, but hey, it's a good option to have for the, for those that like to hedge using this, but I'm personally not really actually going to use it, but that's the main reason why people would use this. Obviously as well, if you're predicting higher prices, you know, at the start of June and you want to sit in a swing trade from now until the start of June, why would it be good to use this new, uh, contract? Well, there's no, you know, this is the thing. There's no funding fees. So that's obviously quite a big advantage if you want to sit in a trade and hold it for a few months. Um, you know, if you're sat in that trade in the perpetual swap, of course, you're going to be paying funding every eight hours. Whereas if you sit on it in the new Bybit contract, you're not going to be paying funding. So that, I suppose that's, that's quite a, um, got a draw to it for some people as well. Um, you can you can long and short at the same time on the same account as well. So that's obviously a bit of a cool thing. So this new contract, you can be in a position long and short simultaneously on the same account in the same contract. You know, some people might like that. Obviously, what we're talking about here is the new... Uh, is the 26th of June, isn't it? Yeah, 06, 20, 25th of June. Um, you know, obviously, this is trading currently at $61,900. So you are in contango, but that's normal. You know, the market's really, uh, you know, got a high expectancy, I suppose. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, obviously that's thing, something to be aware of because otherwise you might be like, why is this trading at $61,000? You know, obviously it's going to trade higher because people are obviously bullish going into June. Um, people are expecting higher prices. So you're going to get this contango with the futures market. Normal, you know, it's totally normal. So yeah, that that's my opinion. You know, this is really good if you this is good for people that want to use it. Personally, I'm just going to use the inverse perpetual. I don't actually have a use for this. And I don't really think many people are really going to be using this. I don't really think it's going to get much volume. But it's good to have it than not have it, no. <laughs> so, yeah. Um Oh, yeah, no, 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 that's everything on that. Um, let's see what other questions. Um, yeah, so I haven't actually used this contract yet, so I can't answer all the questions about this, but I'm pretty... Well, it looks like it does. So you don't need to change into like USDT. You can just keep in Bitcoin and you are using the same balance as your Bitcoin portfolio 
to trade the perpetual as you are this futures contract. So that looks as if it's all the same. Uh, that, that looks like it's all the same. Um, you don't have to be switching around to answer that question. Somebody else is asking about the Femex competition. Yeah, the Femex competition, we obviously entered. If you want to enter the Femex competition, obviously this is the link to join the team. Um, you know, you just copy the link, go into it and brings you to this page and you can sign up if you want to. Um, yeah, if you want to join that. I'm not a fan of Femex, really. If I'm totally honest, I'm not really a fan of Femex. I might trade just for this competition, but I am not really a fan of this exchange massively. Um, what can I say? I'm a lover of Bybit. I'm a Bybit lover. So I'm not really a fan of these other exchanges. But um, And the reason why is because if you had tried to long um, Bitcoin today using any other exchange you know if you're using order flow you have to be on bybit because you don't you know you miss these sort of trades if you're on binance you miss it on femex you miss it on coinbase like you only get these trades on bybit so like for me it's very important to trade on bybit like to be honest it's very important for me because it has the best order flow and i and i, and I refuse to miss out on the trades so yeah that for me is very important Oh, I'm so annoyed that Bitcoin has just suddenly decided to do to uh, go absolutely sideways and do nothing here. I wanted it to keep on moving because we could have taken more trades, but this is so boring. <laughs> um, I did want to keep this stream fairly quick. I didn't want it to go on forever, if I'm totally honest. Um, we can do more of these streams, though, of course we can. Um, we can do more of these. I'm not. I just want to do one more thing on this. Uh, we are coming back into this almost. But yeah, we can do more of these streams. I just wanted to do a quick one for you all. Maybe we'll do another one tomorrow morning, I suppose. Tomorrow morning can be a good opportunity for another one. Um, I'll do two more questions and I think I'll call it a, a night for myself. Um... This guy says Femex is totally garbage. <laughs> I don't know, mate. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I kind of just love Bybit. Some guy says, uh, what's the best VPN? Um, there are many VPNs out there. Um, lots of VPNs out there. Some that I know that are really recommended. Nord is obviously recommended. ExpressVPN is recommended. Um... Uh, those are the only two that I actually know of, <laughs> but they're both decent as from what I hear. Um, yes, more streams. Hey, I'm happy to do more streams. That's fine. Um, we really enjoyed this impromptu stream. Thank you very much. No worries at all. Um, Cyber Ghost is a great VPN, apparently. So, yeah, I am going to wrap it up here. I'm going to say... Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, we'll do another stream tomorrow, I suppose. I'm happy to do another one for you. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed this really random quick one for you all. Um, thank you ever so much. I'll catch you over in the group, I suppose. I need to go and eat. <laughs> it's 7pm here and I haven't had my dinner yet. So I'm going to go have my dinner. Dinner. Uh, we'll do another stream later or tomorrow. And... Uh, yeah, thank you ever so much, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed this one. And I'll catch you over in, in Discord after I've had my dinner. So cheers, everybody. Thank you ever so much. And goodbye. Thank you.